What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? Let's get into an early tea message. Early tea message. This is for October 3rd. Shout outs to all the Libras out there. Happy Libra season. Happy birthday, Libra. What's going on with y'all? Mm-mm. Alright, this is for October 3rd. Even though this is titled for October 3rd, whenever you come across it is when it may resonate with you. Alright, y'all, let's get into the early tea, the early tea, the early tea. <laughs> let's see what's going on. Let's get, what's the early tea message for today, October 3rd? Tuesday, October 3rd. What's the early tea message for today? You know what? I'm not even going to use this deck. I really do need to get a new ride away. I've been saying that for the longest because my ride away is not, it's, it, it's time. I got to start using a different one. I'm going to use this deck. Give me a second, y'all. I got to get up. this deck in a while so I'm gonna use this one my bad y'all <laughs> this is the um the modern witch tower haven't used this deck in a minute it was in a box too I had it in a box that it came in it's really hard for me to shuffle these cards in time. I think that's why I never really reach for this one that much. Oh, look at that. We got a we got a card from a different deck inside this deck. All right, y'all. Let's get into the early tea. Let's get into the early tea, y'all. October 3rd. Tuesday, October 3rd, early tea message. Father God, spirit, angels, and ancestors, all that protect and guide me. I call out to you during this time. I ask that you step in, help provide me with clear and accurate messages for the collective. I also ask that you cover, protect, and bless and shield my energy as I channel these messages. Cover, shield, protect, and bless those that's watching for their highest good. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Amen. Let's get a message for y'all today. Early tea. Spirit, what's the message for the collective today? What is it that they need to hear? What's the message for today? Early tea message for today. Okay. Six of Pentacles in the reverse to the Knight of Swords. I see the Ten of Cups in the reverse poking out, Page of Swords. We'll see if that come back out. Messages for the collective today. Six of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Swords. The Empress in the reverse. So we got a distorted feminine here. We got a karmic feminine here, karmic woman here. This person could be waiting on something here. Seeing someone get justice, though. There's a karmic woman seeing someone else get justice. Divine Collective, y'all getting justice. Okay, I've been telling y'all this for the longest. Something's being ruled in your favor. Something's working out in your favor. We got the justice card here in the upright, and we also got the ten of pentacles. There's a karmic woman that's um, waiting or watching. I'm hearing scheming, plotting. Clarify this empress in the reverse here. Yep, there's an empress in the reverse. This person is unhappy. Ten of cups in the reverse. For some of you, this could be somebody in your family. Don't have to be. But this person is feeling like um, very drained, okay, very tired. Maybe their energy is very low. This person could be having issues within a home. This person is definitely having issues 
surrounding their um, foundation, their stability. Maybe somebody that they're in a connection with, someone that they share a home with. Yeah, King of Cups in a reverse. So we have an Empress reverse, King of Cups in a reverse. Somebody here knows, collected, that you are in this Queen of Pentacles energy, Ten of Pentacles, Justice. You're receiving good karma here, okay? Somebody here knows that you're very happy or you're about to be very happy. Um, whoever this is, they feel like they're getting karma, though. Whoever this is, they feel like they're on the opposite side of the wheel, like they're getting heavy judgment. This person sees you as the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, and they're in the King of Pentacles in the reverse energy. Some of y'all have a distorted masculine and a feminine that is watching y'all get justice. For some of you, this person could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Whoever this is, whoever these people are, because there's multiple people here. For some of you, this is even a couple. They, yeah, this is multiple people here. We also have the King of Swords in the reverse here. Somebody here knows that they need to keep their distance from you or they can't really come towards you. Somebody knows that some decision is final here. Somebody here also knows that you see the truth about a situation here. Yeah, I feel like somebody wanted to come towards you and lie to you, okay? Maybe even cause some sort of conflict for you by lying to you. But they see that that's being blocked. They see that they can't do that. Somebody here sees that you see the truth about a situation. They also see you as someone that's going to be good like you're good like everything working out in your favor yeah somebody here is looking at you as the magician collective they feel like you manifested a new beginning for yourself or you're very magical very powerful you're a master manifester and whoever this is they feel like they did something too impulsively too quickly and whatever they did didn't work out in their favor this person misses you okay so you have a fool in a reverse that's missing you Somebody here that could have been acting very selfishly, childish, very impulsive, very self-serving, instant gratitude, wanting to win at all costs. Whoever this is, this is somebody from your past that's missing you, that wants to rebuild a connection with you. This person could be possibly just even wanting to be your friend at this point. But whoever this is, I feel like they trying to sneak and come towards you. They trying to sneak away from their problems or, yeah, they trying to sneak away from karma. Okay, this person trying to run away from karma or sneak away from karma. This person is attached to this energy. That's what they trying to run away from, sneak away from. They could be finding out that they made a bad deal with that energy. Okay, and now they feel like they losing. This person could have broke your heart in the past and they feel like you've healed from this heartbreak. And now you're manifesting um, your dream life. Somebody here feel like all your dreams is becoming a reality. And you on a good side of karma and they feel like they made a bad deal with some negative energy here, some dark entity. And they feeling bad, they feeling trapped, they feeling stuck. This person feels like everything in their life is delayed. Okay, they don't feel like they have any celebrations. They feel like things in their life is delayed. And they feel like you're very independent, you're self-sufficient, you're happy, you're chilling, you're in this nine of cups energy. You're going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. This person sees that you're elevating. They see elevation. They see growth when they look at you. Yeah, they see celebration, elevation, growth. I can't make this shit up. Six of Wands. They feel like you're being celebrated. You're being rewarded. You're getting good news. Everything working out in your favor. And there's a high priestess in the reverse that was working on you. But this person sees that you've broken free from some sort of illusion and you're not under their thumb. Somebody here wanted to control your life or control your path, control your destiny. This person sees that you're no longer under their thumb. This person was working together with multiple people to try to control your life or block your destiny, block your path, or just slow it down. But somebody here sees that you have broken free from some sort of illusion. You're not under illusion. If anybody was under illusion, they feel like it was them. Somebody here knows that you're an earth angel. You've gained your wings here. You've had some sort of level up here. You went to a new level. Yeah, you had some sort of upgrade here. I'm hearing you experienced an upgrade. Some of y'all could be very intuitive, very gifted. Somebody here knows that you've experienced some upgrade. And somebody here knows that you are heavily protected because you are in this energy. Somebody here knows that you're protected because you're an earth angel or because you had some sort of upgrade here. Because you have some full-blown, I'm hearing full-blown awakening, okay? This is the real deal. This ain't for play-play. You are not a fake. And if somebody here was saying that you was like a fake spiritualist or you wasn't really about it, 
everything that they've done to you and the type of protection that you have and to see you still being in this nine of cups magician sun ten of pentacles queen of pentacles justice six of wands energy temperance still balanced still graceful still calm still peaceful still being celebrated still on your a game still 10 toes down for somebody to see you being in that energy after everything they've done or everything they sent your way right yeah they see this shit i can't make it up pages for somebody here see this shit they like nah that's the real deal that's a real earth angel that's the real one that's the chosen one that's somebody that has an anointing over their life Okay, so now somebody is like going back to the drawing board trying to figure out what all they did. I'm hearing somebody here could be trying to do reversals, but where is it actually going back to if you was the only one that was doing anything in the first place? Where's that reversal going to? <sighs> yep, somebody here was doing some wicked shit, man. Somebody here could have even been trying to do some unalive things to you, collective. Okay, and somebody here is like, wow, okay, yeah, this person is really anointed. This person got a big purpose, okay? Like, let's just, you know, like, whatever, man. Yep, we have a King of Wands in a reverse that's feeling some type of way. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Somebody's feeling some type of way. This person wants to take action towards you, but they feel like you released them. Whoever this is, y'all could have blocked this person, or this is somebody that y'all just not in communication with. This person wants to communicate to you, but they could be moving very slow right now. Somebody feel like you're their soulmate, like you're their lover. Somebody here wants to make a choice and come towards you here. This person may be at a distance from you. This person feels like they need to heal, though. This person's going through a lot. They could be sad or just like going, like healing from some sort of betrayal here. But whoever this is, they want to come towards you. I can't make it up. This is somebody from your past wanting to return. Six of Swords in the reverse to the Five of Pentacles reverse to the Emperor. This person is showing up as the Emperor Collective. So this is somebody that's having an awakening of their own. This is somebody that's going through some sort of awakening right now. This person may wear an onk, okay? Or they could have an onk tattoo, an onk chain, something significant about the onk. Or collective, you wear onk, you have an onk tattoo for some of you. There's somebody that is working on them that was trying to keep them stuck. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or a Cancer that was really working on this person, trying to keep them stuck. Trying to keep them bound to some shit. Trying to keep them on just trying to keep them sleep, okay? Somebody here didn't want this emperor to have an awakening. This person's a whole emperor out here. Okay. I'm hearing that people was harvesting off, off this emperor's energy as well. This emperor having a full-blown awakening. Let's clarify this emperor. Spirit, clarify the emperor for us. This is the yep. Yeah, this person is is listen, they focus. They ready to do the right thing. This is somebody that's ready. If they wasn't ready before, they ready now. They ready to turn turn their life around is what I'm hearing. This person is ready to turn their life around. This person is like, okay, what do I have to do? How do I have to do it? This person sees that whatever you doing is working for you. And this person feels um, motivated and inspired to tap into their higher power. This is somebody that's ready to elevate. They're ready to change. Yeah. They're ready to change. Congratulations to this emperor, whoever this is. This is a masculine that's ready to grow, heal, and evolve. This person is getting out of a karmic cycle with this empress in a reverse. They're closing out a cycle with a karmic feminine, a distorted feminine. They're closing out a cycle with that person. They're no longer a vibrational match to that person. And I feel like somebody here is working really hard to keep this emperor asleep. Yeah, Queen of Swords in a reverse here, the Hierophant reverse. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus that this person is separating from or that this person is working together with to keep this masculine stuck. But this masculine is fighting here. This masculine is fighting back. Yeah, they fighting back. They want to release this codependent connection. They feel like this connection is toxic and it's codependent. Somebody that's codependent on this masculine is like losing sleep, stressed out, and heavy regret, crying, and just suffering here because this is over. They're mad because this karma connection is over because this masculine has had some sort of awakening here. And they realize that whoever they was binded to, um, whoever they was in a codependent karma connection with is not a vibrational match for them. It's a tower here. It's over. Tower 
Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It's over. This is somebody that's having an awakening. I think I gave a message similar to this about um, a divine masculine having an awakening and releasing themselves from a karmic connection or a distorted feminine. This emperor is releasing themselves from a distorted feminine, y'all. We love to see it. Whether you are masculine, releasing yourself from a distorted feminine, or you are a feminine, release, releasing yourself from a distorted masculine. Either way, it's always a beautiful thing to see. It's nothing like it, okay? Shout out to this masculine for saving their soul, for saving themselves. All right, that's the early tea for today, y'all. Hope this message resonated. Hope it gave you some clarity. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.